welcome, 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 guys. So today, 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 we're going to be working on some um, prepping for my niece's graduation. So I'm going to um, get started, let you know what we're going to need. So make sure you like, comment, and leave. make sure you like, subscribe. If you're not subscribed to the channel, leave your comments down below. So you're going to need your image, which I printed off my Epson printer. You're going to need some... Um, I use the um, Scotch bonnet adhesive, the Dollar Tree board, some scissors, some um, heat tape, and you're going to need a little um, squeegee um, for it. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to prep everything. Um, so, with the image, because I printed this out on my um, Cricut machine, so... It always print out with a black line around it because that's what helps the machine know where to cut. So we're going to cut that line out. I'm going to cut everything and I'll be back when it's time to press. So now I cut the lines off of all the image. So when I press, we won't have no black line, no ink on our stuff. I always remind you with that. So here I'm just opening it. And once you open it, even though it's new, it's still out the plastic. But believe it or not, sometimes some of them are still have little lint or little black, little whatever it is. So it's definitely, definitely, definitely important that you take your lint brush and you still go over any of the image that you're about to press when it comes to sublimation else it will stick. So here is the lamination sheet. So you could tell the difference. You want to use the the shiny side up. So you could the 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 shiny side is smooth and the other side is a little rough. You could tell the difference. So here I just want to try a little trick. I've seen it. I've seen so many different ways of making it. So I want to try here. I want to just try to laminate both sides. Kind of at one time instead of like breaking the sheet apart, then doing one side, then go ahead and laminate and do the other side so i'm gonna we're gonna try all the different techniques until we get it down pat guys so y'all bear with me we it might be part two to this video it might be part three to this video we don't know we're gonna work together we're gonna figure it out because a lot of people do this and they do not do not tell y'all how it's simple but it's not that easy and and we're gonna figure this out because I've been working with this for a minute, guys. And is 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 simple but not that easy. So y'all know I always bring it to your raw and direct. I don't sugarcoat nothing, I don't hide the stuff from you. Y'all see the errors, y'all see the mistakes, and I do it so we do this together. And if y'all have any tips and advice, y'all leave it in the comments down below. Let me know. So to um heat up the the uh the lamination. I got my print. I got my um. You know, my printer. I have my um machine set at 385, and I'm gonna run it over for about anyway about 15 to 20 seconds. That's what I got from a couple other people. But as you're gonna see as we go along through the video, I I I'm learning. Like I said, I'm learning as we go, and I know that when I do that, it heats up. But it leaves like and it leaves like little I want to say like little air pockets and that's where the, the squeezy comes in and you're gonna see me like trying to scrape the bubbly. But toward the end, your girl figured out. I let it press a little longer, and and it seemed like the longer it pressed, the the more the the lamination heated to the to the paddle. If that makes sense, it heated to the paddle. And I didn't have, I really didn't have no air bubbles, no pockets. I barely had to like even use the squeegee. So that's a thing to keep in mind. So you see a lot of people say, um, oh, 15, about 15 to 20 seconds. I did about 25 seconds, maybe 30. And that worked perfect. I guess maybe because I'm using the hand easy, the easy press um, tool. So that could be the reason why. I don't know. But if you're using a regular heat press, then I guess you have to wing that as well. So you're gonna do I'm gonna I'm not even gonna lie to you. You're gonna do a couple of them before you really get it. 
So you're going to make trial. So it's basically like trial and error. So this is where you see me trying to the, like. Um, I'm trying to rub out like the little air bubbles, air pockets, and things like that. This was before I realized I needed to press it a little longer because I'm going by what other people are saying. Oh, 15, no more than 15 to 20 seconds. You just want a little heat just to heat the thing. I'm telling you guys, that does not work. I'm telling you, I'm here to tell you, that does not work. And you will see the difference from here. I did it for, like I said, 15, about, about 20 seconds. And you have to, like, you want to get them air bubbles out. You want to get them lines out. If you don't get them lines out, you will see it in your um, print. So here, like I said, I, I, I had to wing it, figure it out, figure it out. So um, uh, I press it a little bit more. And it gets the, like I said, it gets all the, the little wrinkles out, get any little air bubbles out. You might have to take your, your squeegee and maybe just one or two, but you really don't have to do much because you really don't see anything. So, that's what you see. And then, like I said, I was trying something different. And you see, I remember I did both sides before. I did both, I laminated both sides, which is, I'm going to say you can do it. But basically, I would do one at a time because you want to do one, one, and then you want to literally let the let it cool off, like really cool off, before you go to the tackle the next side. Because think about it, it's Dollar Tree. The boards is not that thick; they're they're kind of flimsy. You know what I'm saying? So you want, it just just know, do one side, let it cool off, and then. After that, cool off for a bit. Then you go and do another side. So here, you just see, I, I print my image a little big. So that way, I know the whole board will be covered. And so, like I said, and also with the temperature, I have my temperature. I have it on 390 and I'm pressing for like, I'm going to press my um image for like, 45 um I did 45 seconds I did actually I did between 45 to 50 seconds is what I pressed my um image image on because I did I think I did the 40 the 40 I mean I did the 40 to the 45 it came out but it it, it, it was like it could have pressed a little longer so I said let me go up maybe another put it up a little five more so that's why I think I went from 45 to 50. And when I did that, it worked perfect. Everything pressed out good. I had the heat. I have the heat. I have my heat pressed at 390 and I pressed it for like 50 seconds. And it came out perfect. And you're going to see the difference from when I underpressed it. As like I said, I did, I think I did 45 seconds. And it came out, but it could you can see that it could have pressed a little bit longer. So that's where um I say it's always trial, trial and error. And I do not sugarcoat anything. I bring it to you. I want you all to see the errors. I want you to see the mistakes because even though I'm not gonna say that I I, I did edit edit my videos, I took a lot out. But I, I left the basic in so you can see the mistakes. You can see the errors. You can learn from me just like I'm learning from other people. And like I say, I want you to leave um leave any advice down in the comments below. Leave me tips. Let me know. If it's something I can do different, let me know. And I use um I use parchment paper because parchment paper really it doesn't stick to yourself. And I'm using my um Teflon sheet. I'm not because it's not like supplementing on it. As you see, my my paper, my image blue. And that was another thing that I did. You see, on some some of my stuff, I, I I tried to take the easy route. You see, it came out beautiful. I tried to take the easy easy route by not taping my image down. 
because that's the best thing to do. Take your image down because you don't want your stuff flying all over the place. And and what I did was I um put it down and then when I went to cover it, I forgot something and I had to go back and to add something on it. And when I went to cover back, I I, I kind of knew that my image shift, the paper shift, but I should have went back and said, you know what, let me go back and, and double check. And I didn't do that. But once I finished, I, I finished it and I pressed everything and I took it off. Of course, just like I said, my image had the paper move. It shifted a little bit. So definitely, definitely when it comes to sublimation, especially on stuff like this, like like hard type items like this keychains, puzzle things like that. When you put your image down, try to um tape it down because even when you're doing a regular heat press or hand press, when you move it because the heat is stick to it. So when you move it, when you move it, the hand press, you lift it up. You the you're gonna bring bring the whole thing comes with it. Same thing on the heat on the heat press when you open the cover. Sometimes your 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 um whatever it is the sheets is it it pulls it up, so it moves and and that's one thing that you don't want because when you're dealing with sublimation it's easy to get a to get ghosted, even though people feel like once they finish the press, and they and they done it won't ghost it can still ghost your your sub the sublimation is still cooking even it takes that's why they tell you. Try not to like remove your your um your paper right away sometime because the ink is still um I'm looking for the word what they call it I'm looking for what they call it the ink is still um activating and and you can just that one little quick shift you can put a little smirk. Or put a little ghosting on it, whatever it is. So you definitely, definitely want to be careful, and if you can, try to tape it down. And this is um what I I always try to tape it down, and I I did tape it down, and then like I said, I forgot something, and it was like oh my god. So like I said, it's a learning experience. This is like my um. Actually, second time dealing with these um Dollar Tree um boards. The first time I did, I wanted to. I got discouraged because I couldn't get it, and then I didn't. I didn't have the right lamination paper. So you definitely want to make sure you have the right lamination paper as well. And like I said, you're gonna use the 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 um shiny side up. And the dull side is facing down, facing your board, your item. And you press that. Like I said, I, you know, learn your machine, know how your machine is to heat it. For me, if you're using the easy press, I did it for like 30 seconds. And not just let it sit there, but rub, rub it across as it the 30 seconds. I promise you, your your um image will go on so beautiful you will not have no bubbles no lines no nothing so this is i'm here to tell you this because i like a lot of people is not going to tell you all they're going to do is tell you oh you want to do it maybe two or three times before you get it perfect i'm here to let you know yeah you are going to do it a couple of times to get it how you want it and you also want to make sure that you press it your lamination is pressed so it's nice and smooth so that way when you go to press your um your picture there is no lines on it there is no air bubbles so yeah so i'm just trying to line it up perfect you want to make sure you line your image up perfect and the best thing to do you want to try to have more than little so that way as best as you see, I have the image. I made it bigger, but you want to make sure you put your pictures, like the main stuff that you wanted, that you want on your board. You want to kind of put it more towards the center of it, so that way you know, and that way the the 
the outside you don't have to worry but you at least you know your whole thing is covered and you see the handle part is where i had i had forgot so i i literally put the um went to start pressing everything and then it hit me like oh wait i need to um put the other piece there so that's where you um see me um taping it down like I said, you want to take this stuff down, guys. I promise you. Definitely, definitely, definitely want to tape it down. Like I said, I'm taping it down. Me being me, like, oh, I got this, I got this. And boom, it hit me. Like I told you, I didn't, the, um, so like, I, Thank God that I didn't press. That's what I was trying to let y'all know. So, I, like I said, it hit me. Like, oh, shoot. So, I needed to um to add the other piece. Well, not the other piece. The other, um, the the word. So, I'm, I'm going to cut it out. I didn't even cut it out or nothing. I forgot. And this is where I made my mistake at, guys. Because I was, I was so excited super happy like oh i got this i got this this is what i'm saying to myself i'm super hyped so i had to like i said everything was taped down everything was perfect so i had to go back to um to put the um the words on the handle part because i wanted i i cut these pieces out you know one side has my niece name on it and then the other side is going to have the, um, the, 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 sensor, the senior, the senior. So I wanted to put the senior, but when I went to, um, put it on there, like I said, I, I, I didn't, um, I don't know if you all seen it. When I went to put the paper stuff back on it, it kind of shifts, but I didn't like it, the paper had shifts, but I didn't. I kind of knew it, but it was just like, ah, uh, like, it'll be all right. Because in my mind, I know I cut it. I mean, I printed it, and I made it enough so it covers, like, all the edges of it. But not realizing it's not going to cover the top part of it, but it's covering all the edges. And, um... So I'm just like, oh man, it, it hit me and I'm just like, ah, oh, here we go, here we go. Like I was saying, it hit me. So now I'm like, let me just get and see how it came out. And I'm so, so pissed off, guys, like pissed off because it came out so freaking pretty. And I'm just looking at it like in disbelief, like, see what I did? So when I moved it, Okay, that's what the, the name is out, but you see, from it shifted, so the, I didn't get to press the whole part, and then that's how, so I'm just like, ah. So I said, so to my mind, I'm like, well, this would be mine, because it's still good. It just didn't press all the way, so I'm just going to fill in, like, the color and, and, and whatever, whatever. Now I keep this one for myself, because I'm not wasting nothing. It's still um usable. So... And then that's another thing you have to, you know, you got to clean up, clean up the edges, get your scissors. You got to cut around it or get your, um, your, um, I forgot the name of what you call the knife. I'm going to show it to you. You get your little, um, what you call a knife and you could cut around the edges and then get your little, if you have a little heat press, you want to get that and go around it to melt the edges. Cause you don't want no rough edges and melt the edges around it. If you have the a heat press, turn your heat press down some, and then you could use the the top of your heat press plate and you know melt the the edges. You don't want it too hot because you're not trying to activate the sublimation. Cause you can activate it all over again. People, a lot of people don't know that, but you can. Ask your girl how. I found out the hard way. So you don't. You want to turn that heat down. 
you don't want to put that 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 heat activation. So now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do. I turned it on the other side. I'm now I'm just gonna add the other part because I forgot. Like I said, when I was doing it, so busy, I forgot to add the the names and the stuff on the the handle part. So I'm just gonna um do the handle part. And like I said, so this one is for me. I'm going to keep this one because as you see on the other side, I messed up. So on this one, I'm just like, hey, it's whatever. Now I'm just at the point like, ah, oh, whatever, whatever. It's for me. I don't care. I'm keeping it. Oh, well, it's still cute, cute. Like who going to see that part? I'm just not going to show the, I'm just not going to wave the yellow side too much. I'm going to keep that part face to me. And keep this side to everybody else, right? Okay. Or I might just get a get one of my markers and fill it in. If I could find a marker that color, and I just fill it in. Who like? It is what it is. It don't matter. Like I said, that one I'm keeping myself, and the other ones I can give to everybody else. So. Like I said, we just going to um wing it and y'all let me know, you know, y'all, y'all, y'all got to let me know what y'all think. Like I said, leave your comments down below. Don't be scared. Your girl ain't going to hurt you. Like, I, I need to know. I want to know. I really want to know. You see how good it came out? This side, like I said, I messed it up because it shifted the paper move and things like that. So... It is what it is. So now we on to the next one. And I don't, I think I got to do about, uh, I want to say about 20, 20 of these, 20, 25. I'm not sure. I think it was like 20 or 25. It might be more than that. I don't know. But yeah, so it is what it is. So as you see, so I'm just showing you all the ink is written it. You see it came out so so good and this is why i use the teflon sheet because it doesn't stick and it's not like it's going to get you see how good it came out guys i'm telling you you see that oh my god guys it is so so perfect you see that and then i'm going to flip it and do the other side but as you see i keep forgetting to put the the um the names and stuff down on the handle like, what is wrong with me, guys? What is wrong? But anyway, I got to cut it down and then do the other side. So now we cut it down. I press the other side. And, um, yeah, I, I cut it down. I press the other side. And remember what I was telling you guys. I'm, I'm using 390. My heat is at 390. And I'm doing it for 50 seconds. 390 for 50 seconds. I because I what I did was like I said, I played around with the with the seconds and the heat. When I had that 385 for like 45 seconds, it it wasn't hot enough and then it wasn't pressed long enough. Then I played with the heat, I took it to 390, and then I was like, maybe I need it longer. So I think I put it to 60 seconds. So the 60 seconds was too long. It was, it worked, but it was in certain spots. You could see it was like a little burnt. So that was too long. So then I, so that's when I played with it from the 50 second, from the 45 to 50 seconds. And then when I noticed I just did the 50 seconds, the 50 seconds just works out perfect. You see the 50 seconds. Like I tell you guys, the 50 second works so perfect, guys. The 50 second workout so, so perfect, guys. Oh, my God. You wouldn't believe it. So, yeah, guys. Definitely, definitely, definitely. See how they came out? Y'all leave your comments down below. Let me know what y'all think. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for rocking with your girl. Talk to y'all later.